Hello, this is not a spring chicken. We do watch what you send us, and so we'd like to share one of our top ten lists on how you know you're conservative. This was sent in to us by one of our viewers. <laughs> and actually, okay, how do you know you're conservative? And of course, I put this hat on. Just Does this look like more of a conservative hat? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, maybe this swimsuit isn't. Should I change? Well, no. Nah. Okay, maybe this this one soon I'll say. Um, number ten, the Democrats all hate you. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glenn, number nine, Glenn Beck asked you to dinner. Well, he's not going to ask a liberal to dinner. That's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. And if you guys don't know who Glenn Beck is, he is the guy that is to the right of Bill O'Reilly on Fox. <laughs> number eight. You become a commentator for Fox on the O'Reilly Show. Yeah, yeah, and I, he, and he only has liberals on his show, so he can shout them down. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have any commentators, does he? Oh yeah, he's got all these people to come on, and you know the you know the talking heads to come on his show. Oh, okay. Number seven, you pay your taxes. <laughs> oh, that, that definitely means you're not a Democrat. <laughs> and if you if you have trouble with this, you. Oh, yeah, you know. Give us your own versions of what a conservative so. That's right. Well, you know, because there's a lot of Democrats that don't pay their taxes. Only because it, it is really highlighted by the presidential picks. Okay. Republicans that don't pay their taxes don't apply for government jobs where they have to be vetted. That's the difference. Oh, is that the difference? Yeah. Because Caroline Kat Kennedy also bowed out. For, yeah, right? for, for about the same problem. And also could be a problem because even though Geithner was approved because he was too important. <laughs> yeah, now they all want him gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think he's having a, a hard yeah. time filling his... his um... He can't find anybody that wants the job that's paid their taxes. <laughs> Because they're, they're, well, uh, I think the problem is, is a lot of the people out there, despite what our president is saying, the wealthy don't have the money, and they just can't pay the taxes that they owe in the back in one chunk because they don't have it. Oh, Remember Daschle, they're saying, well, the one thing that, that Barack Obama has done as president, he's got the Democrats to pay $150,000 in back taxes. I think with Mr. Daschle, it's like 200000 He doesn't have the money. He doesn't make that much money. So therefore, you know, I mean, if, if I think if he could have paid it, he would have been health. He'd have been in no matter oh, what. Oh, he would have been health. But he doesn't have the money okay. because he's one of the wealthy that's broke. So. Okay, number six. You are labeled as anti-gay. Well, yeah, you're, you're homophobic. If you're, <laughs> you're if, homophobic. If you're that are right, you're all homophobic, even if you are gay. <laughs> Because they do have gay Republicans, the log cabin Republicans. Really? They're conservative. Okay, a lot of people, okay, most every neighborhood has people that are gay, but they, they just, nobody cares. They have people you do business with that are gay, nobody cares. You have gay conservatives, nobody cares. Because they, they're just part of the community. Yeah. You know, but if you, but if they, get, a gay person stands up and says, you know, I think that this is wrong, they automatically become homophobic. That's how. <laughs> well, and sometimes the most anti-gay ones are gay. <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you. I've heard a lot of nasty words from people in Hollywood out here. You know, my. You know, I had to break up with my partner of forty years because of this. So. <laughs> I know you never realize you're going to get all this little extra insight. Yeah, right because now. it's a topic. You know, we're, we're doing. Uh, you know, <laughs> David Letterman and, you know, and, 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 and. Number five, the Disney Channel does a movie on your life. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is all the programming? Well, I guess They're all very conservative on the Disney, on the Disney Channel. It's okay. all family stuff. Number four, you want to force your views on everyone in the world. Difference between a liberal and conservative is you dress better. When you do it, but they do have better haircuts. That's right. Anybody, anybody seen those suits on those Republicans and those haircuts on the Democrats? I mean, I Democrats simply that. go for haircuts. But Republicans really go for that. suits. So I have no idea. I, I think it's because I watch more carefully. Now. I think it's because the barbers are all liberals and the suit makers are all conservative. <laughs> Number three. The Ten Commandments is tattooed on your butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, go listen to Glenn Beck and the other Republicans. Are you serious? Uh, the people the, oh, the people on the right, 
can spell, they can tell you every word in the Ten Commandments because it, it, they don't have it, you know, so they must actually have to All they know is thou shalt not. <laughs> That's thou shalt not. Then they, then they do, so. Um, number two, you are a frequent guest of the Pope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to see Nancy Pelosi invited back soon. Well, she did go see the Pope, though. And he lectured her and she got unhappy. Yeah. Yeah, so they don't like to go where they're going to be lectured. Oh, is that what it is? People on the left are good at giving lectures. They just don't like them. Oh. This one, I, I know this one. This is this one's the ultimate one. And number one, what is it? <laughs> number one, what is it? You know you're conservative if your name is Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> In fact, he's so conservative, the Democrats are raising money to do a billboard for Rush. Uh, I know. And the bill. In his hometown. I know. The, uh, I submitted a thing. I thought my billboard should have won, you know, because. What was your billboard? It's all about the truth. Ooh. I thought that was a great thing to put up about Rush Limbaugh because the Democrats will tell you that he never tells the truth. So I would have thought yeah, that. Yeah, but part would... of it is they're thinking that might shine back on them. I, I think so. Well, it was submitted by a journalist. So what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the minority, but we, we there are there are middle there actually are people that are in the middle of the road. We tell people we're in the middle of the road because we're we're ran by a little puppy dog, and and since she can't vote, she definitely has no political bias. Okay, so that's the top ten on how you know you're conservative. Now I guess we're gonna get one for the liberals, huh? Oh, that liberal. okay. Somebody send us a thing on liberals. Yeah, we'll do one on that. Yeah, and we'll, if they don't, then we'll just have to create one ourselves. Yeah, that, we could do that one. That takes an effort to do one of those this things. One, right? This was really good. This one as well as the other... Um, well, it makes you appreciate David Letterman's top ten list. Oh, one of the other things, top ten things you'll never see. I always love to watch those. Yeah. Because they're great. Top ten, top ten, the top ten things you will never see. Yeah. Which is Obama and O'Reilly. No, it's it Obama and O'Reilly. Obama and O'Reilly walking hand in hand <laughs> to a May Day rally. rally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that one. That was a good. That was a really one. So people, you know, you got some hits on that. <laughs> no, but you know, we just send us. You can send us. Uh, you know, to uh, Monty Bubbles at MontyBubbles.net if you want to, or you can uh, do an email. You can do a uh, leave a message on this on uh, YouTube, Vo, any of MSN, any of those places, or you can Twitter us at where? Well, on Monty Bubbles. You can yeah. Twitter us on because news video web is the. I know, but they don't realize oh. you have to they tell don't them. Know. Okay, on Twitter us on Monty Bubbles. Yep. Or also, if you remember, old camera not a spring chicken. Yeah, and we'll, 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 we'll we will put this bubbles. stuff up. We also have a section called Monty's Notebook, which are basically things that said, you know, the, the, they're the things we actually can get away with saying on the air. We do have a lot of things that they have said on the air that we can't say. So, and they're not, they're not, they're not rants and raves. They just have to do with, you know, they they would like to see, you know, the naughty naughty spring chick. So, <laughs> so and until until next time, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. Or here yesterday, today, and tomorrow on the internet. And thank you once again for over 20 million links. <laughs>